4.3% represents the highest increase in the cost of living for more than 10 years. The second highest was exactly 10 years ago, when the increase was 3.8%. The highest increases in the last quarter have been in clothing and footwear, housing and food. Durable household goods is the only item to go down, albeit slightly. According to the Chamber of Commerce, there are a number of factors which could have caused this increase. The price of oil has nearly doubled this year, something which has taken time to feed through the international economy and have a knock-on effect on prices of other goods. The cost of transporting a shipping container from China to Europe has quadrupled in price in the last 18 months and companies have been forced to increase wages to attract more truck drivers to make deliveries in the UK and across Europe. Closer to home, the chamber says electricity prices paid by businesses were increased by 20% this year and public sector wage increases have been running ahead of the inflation rate over the last 10 years. The inflation rate, it says, would also be affected by fluctuations in the pound versus the euro, meaning goods from Spain become more expensive in local shops. Every year, government employees and civil servants would receive a cost of living adjustment in their pay packets. This hasn't happened for the last two years because of a freeze introduced to meet the challenges of Brexit and Covid. The GGCA says it's concerned that this means people will be feeling the pinch this Christmas and beyond as goods become more expensive. The majority of GGCA members and you know uh, public sector workers. Um, obviously this is compounded by the fact that uh, for the last two years we haven't had a cost of living raise. So with this big jump of inflation this year and you know the cumulative effect of the um, RPI or IP, R, IRP I think it is locally uh, here, obviously it's a cumulative effect. So for the last two years um, you know the cost of goods and the cost of living has been uh, increasing but our salaries have stayed the same. So, um, you know, unfortunately, um, I, I've had members, you know, coming up to me and saying, look, um, this is having an effect, especially the lower grades, um, you know, saying, look, um, you know, m m I fill up my trolley at Morrison's and each time it's getting more expensive, you know, I'm feeling the pinch at the end of the month, um, you know, we're really noticing sort of the, the fact that we have had a pay freeze for the last two years. GBC has asked the government if it's considering ending a freeze on the cost of living increments and is awaiting a reply. However, with the uncertainty posed by the economic challenges of Brexit and the pandemic, it appears unlikely things will change anytime soon.